What's that next? Is Game Wisp usually slow? Uh, what do you mean in terms of what? What, loading it up? Uh, I don't really know, mate. I've not had much experience with it, to be fair. Oh, shit, hang on. I've already got some of those being made. Uh, shit, okay. Let's, um, let's scrap that. Stay crouched and stealthy. I love this area. I could uh, roll around on this rug of an evening naked. I kind of like the thought of that. We'll get a nice, uh, a nice log fire burning. What more can you ask for? Chest up there. That's a nice bow. Lovely jubbly. One piece of stone. There. Right, what's my best bow? 159. Gorgeous. Scrap. Scrap. And scrap. Are these not... It's weird, isn't it? You can, you can have like 5,000 stack of, of, of wood, but cobblestone, for example, still any stacks in uh, thousands. I wonder what the thinking behind that was. Why, why did they make the change to, to wood stacks? I, I don't really get it. It seems to just make the game unnecessarily easier. If they did it to all the various um, stacks, that you know, I, I would have argued they'd come up with some sort of weird balancing thing, but just to have done wood seems a bit, a bit silly, to be honest. I'd like to shake his head. Right, let's replace the torches then. Really? Too high? No. Uh, well, that's horrible. Wait, come here. It's, it's just not, it's just not enough, is it? <laughs> Do you think it's too high? Do you think that's, that's the problem? I can't have it there. It looks fucking stupid. That's, that's quite nice. I could live with that. What a nice glow, isn't it? Probably enough just to see the campfire and everything. Pop another one there. Look. Oh, gorgeous, mate. That is gorgeous. Gear. So basically one on each side of the... Uh, oh, really? Is that the phone already? That didn't take long, did it? Who are ya? What do you want? <laughs> Who are ya? There we go. Right, um... Hmm. We need more tallow then, don't we? We got any? Oh no, animal fat. We must have loads of animal fat. Surely to God. Oh, we have. But do we want to cook it of an evening? That's the question. What's that? He sounds not. Oh, it's it's not. Oh no, you know what it is? It's because I've been swimming so much. So it it all, all my yeah, it, it blocks all my nose up, mate. All all the water gets up there, all the chlorine, and it, it just makes my nose all clogged up. We've got a big swim event tomorrow, so I've been doing a bit of bit of training, like. I've also got um. It kind of makes my throat quite sore as well. You know, all the chlorine. I know you're not supposed to swallow it, but... <laughs> it's kind of unavoidable at times, you know what I mean? Well, are my Game Wisp notifications on? Uh, yeah. Oh, whoa, what happened to the stream? The stream just went funny. Fuck, really? Shit, I've been detected, guys. Damn it. Fucking damn it. Ooh. Wood is five times more needed. That's the point, isn't it, Jan? Why, why make it easier? Uh, sorry, is there a problem with the game, Wisp, guys? What is it? Who was it who asked? Was it Nix or was it Star? I can't remember if it was Nix. After completed, it shows my sub money is pending in my bank account. It hasn't gone through on Game Wisp. 
All right, well, thank you so much. Well, more importantly, before we have, have any further discussion, thank you very much, Nick. That's extremely generous of you, mate. Thank you. Um, well, if it just means Game Wisp haven't ex accepted it for whatever reason, mate. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure about that, Nick. See, it, it's not a game with. Well, it's not as in our end, so it's not a notification thing. If it's shown as pending on your bank account, then it's presumably a game with just haven't agreed to accept it for whatever reason. Uh, they, they kind of work quite well. It shows. You need to update me, Nick. So if there's two, one of two things has happened. Either it's still pending in your bank account, so it hasn't gone through, which is the last thing I read. But I've also just been told that it's showing on the game was page. Can't answer that, mate. Can't answer that, dude. But we will look into it, sir. We will we will make sure something happens. But just let me know, Nick, if it's still showing as pending. It's quite interesting how Game Wisp works, actually, because they kind of act almost like as a gatekeeper. The, the, the annoying thing is, which I didn't realise, is that basically... Uh, they kind of keep quite a chunk of the money. <laughs> they, they call it cashing out, but they kind of keep, I think, sort of like $25 or something permanently. So it, it actually, what they're actually telling you is it costs you $25 to set up a Game Whisper account, which I was fucking oblivious to. So if anybody can shed any light on that, please feel free. But uh, I suppose it's the price you pay, isn't it? Um, and they also take a percentage as well, of course. But... Uh, one of the things that I suppose it does protect you from to a limited degree is chargebacks because it's actually Game Wisp that receive the money and then Game Wisp pay, if you like, the streamer. So you aren't going to get hit with a chargeback. Game Wisp will. And apparently they're extremely good at telling people to fuck off. So <laughs> Still got the nose. <laughs> Believe it or not, I don't actually wear a nose clip stripe. I actually should do, mate. I really fucking hate them, mate. I really hate them. <laughs> Swimmer's nose. That's the one. That's the one. I've learned from previous experience it's not a good idea to try and blow it out. <laughs> just, just let it settle for a few hours. Oh, I do need a drink. Hang on. It costs money to set it up. Well, it doesn't cost you money to set it up. It is what people will tell you. However, I'm going to tell you otherwise. In order to cash out... So, in other words, what happens is people will um, donate, um, subscribe to you. And, and thank you to everybody that does. It's hugely appreciated. That money goes to Game Wisp. So, let's say we have... Just for argument's sake, say you've got a £5 subscription. A $5 subscription. And 10 people subscribe. $50 go to Game Wisp. Um, they then take a cut of that. Um, which I can't remember what it is. But it's it's not that bad. Uh, although, although it's not fucking great. <laughs> Slightly better than Twitch. But it's not brilliant. That You then get say about $30 of that 50. Or whatever it is. Let's, let's for argument's sake say 30. You can't actually ever get that $30. Because you can only cash out above $25. So in other words, it's cost you $25 to set up a Game Whisper account. You'll, you'll never get your last 25 back, if that makes sense. That, in other words, it's always 25 quid in your Game Whisper account, or $25 in your Game Whisper account. They're a bit crafty like that. I'm very sorry for that, uh, Nix. Sorry, I'm just having a drink, guys. Okie dokie, let's, uh, I can actually make a bed roll before we go pulling that one up in the middle of the evening. Let's grab that one, and we'll throw that in there. You know, I see if you could have, like, a little, a little gate. That'd be really nice, wouldn't it? An animated gate. Maybe we could look at that as a, a unity thing. You know, like a little farm gate. That would look really nice. You know, like a door, but only one block. Uh, maybe looking like the railings. I think that'd be pretty cool. I can think of uses for such a such a an asset. Whoa, what the fuck? You silly monkey. Yeah, I, I, to be honest, Game, game Whisper is not something that I, I uh, was overly fond of setting up, but I, I know quite a few folks quite like the idea, so we, we thought we might as well do it. It means we've got a sub button, fuck it. We can look professional. We can look like we know what the fuck we're doing, look. <laughs> 
<laughs> if you checked out Patreon and all that's another one. Ah, oh, I keep hearing about all these different things. So I, I think at the end of the day, mate, they, they all just basically fucking take money off you for for not not doing a lot. <laughs> I don't know, Nix, trust me, mate. I'll tell you what, if you're, are you on Discord, Nix? If you are, drop me a, a quick PM or DM, whatever the fuck they're called, mate, and I'll, I'll make sure we investigate. We will, we will make sure you get your, your money's worth. We got uh, and we gave Advina some little goodies extra earlier as well because uh, things, I, I fucked up my, myself there. Uh, right, okay. Uh, what was I going to do then? Oh, yes, actually, that's what I was going to do. If my backpack is out there, look, what I was going to do was pop a light source in there so we'll pop a couple of those look i'd like to shake his hand i would really like to go and bubble up the rest of my tallow Ooh. careful dude god blimey governor is quite scary oh my god did any of you see the uh, video i did yesterday of the uh, the zombie cops holy shit i kind of almost wish i hadn't done it because w when i was told by a member of our beloved community uh have you seen what happens with the zombie cops when they explode near your walls i thought no wonder what that's all about so i quickly jumped into um, creative and uh there's a YouTube video up there. I don't know if anyone's got a link to it. And uh, did the first test and thought, holy shit, that's badass. So I put two cops together. Oh, wow. You should watch the end of the YouTube video. I was sitting there just like, honestly, just like, fucking Jesus Christ. That is a total game changer. It is shocking. Absolutely shocking. Uh... What's that, Stardust? Uh, will you try for Twitch partnership again one day? So that's very out in the open there, Simpsy. <laughs> uh, I don't know, mate. I don't know. I'm not sure. Who knows? Maybe. If I if I'd got a, a more uh, how can I how can, how can I put it a, a more um, honest response last time <laughs> i might have been more inclined to think there is a system as opposed to what i currently think so i'm not i probably won't even talk about it to be fair mate it just might just uh you know one of those things where you raise an eyebrow eyebrow sorry and walk away uh you've seen some on someone someone stream that wood spikes are stronger on zombies now they're just like they used to be mate they're exactly how they used to be in alpha 14 stardust except they cost a huge amount of wood to make so 100 wood per spike uh, I can show you a lot. And they also I think it's 17 seconds to make one as well. Uh, so look, 100 wood. So I, I can only make 30 spikes with a 3,000 stack off, guys. It's pretty crazy, really. It's going to make 10. So 10 will take me 3 minutes to make 10 spikes, dude. You're not a fan of Windows 10. I, I, yeah, I, I love Windows 10. I, I, I was really happy when I could finally migrate my stream PC to a Windows 10. So that, you know, all the stuff that I use for streaming is now Windows 10. It was a bit of a pain in the ass going from 10 to 8.1, 10 to 8.1 between two, three computers. So, uh, I like it. I find it snappy. I find it responsive. I like the layout. Uh, Nix, did you pay them or PayPal? What's your Discord? Exclamation mark Discord in chat, Nix. Anybody should come and join us on Discord. We are, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying having our late night chatters on there. There were some cracking pictures, weren't there, from Blind yesterday with his, uh, was it his Harley? Fucking hell. I'm eating, what's that? I'm a millionaire! I'm a fucking mil more millionaire than I am hey, oh. before. I'm the biggest millionaire of the whole world. Saranthian, thank you so much, dude. Holy shit balls, mate. So that's gone through. It, it must be your dodgy bank account, Nix. <laughs> <laughs> it's Nick. Nick, you got to use your own bank account and not the one you fucking borrowed off someone, mate. <laughs> we'll sort it, Nick, don't worry. Zeranthian, thank you so much for the sub, dude. That's awesome, mate. You just joined the, the, the Gold Members Club. We, 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 we were going to give you perks, but apparently we're not allowed to give blowjobs or anything, so uh, we're, we're working on a new, a new perk scheme, mate. <laughs> 
So, so, <laughs> right, can someone, uh, just someone quickly go and get a Twitch moderator in here? We've uh, we've actually ascertained that Nix is using stolen funds, so uh, please don't mention that to him, and uh, you will be arrested shortly, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Sir Anthony. That was freaking epic, mate. Cheers, cheers, my dears. Very, very generous. Always, uh, you know, just always, always amazes me. You, all of you, incredible. Thank you. Super awesome. That's all right, kid. Flay, don't you fucking worry, mate. Sit back in your hammock. <laughs> Get them fucking champagne bottles out. <laughs> Right, let's have a look where we are. It's nearly four o'clock. Everything's looking pretty funky. Uh, we just This is where we find out that I am, I am one block out and uh, we all laugh hysterically at grum maths, but hey-ho, never mind. Um, food. Food. We have a little bit. Actually, I'll tell you what. Let's make a... Uh, let's grab that tallow and make some candles while we're here. Now, in theory, we should really head out today and actually go and scout somewhere because whereas before we had a hotel that we could go and spend the Horde evening at, we haven't got anything this time around. So, we're in a bit of a precarious position, to be honest. I mean, what do you think? I mean, I, I could try and hold up in one of these houses, but... I mean, I could always go to the one with a swimming pool, which has actually got a perimeter on it, and try and go up on the roof. I mean, what do you think? Should we try it? I mean, you know, live dangerously? Why not? Yeah, so we, we, we had to remove the blowjob uh, perk. Uh, appara apparently, we, uh, <laughs> they were citing legal actions around the... <laughs> <laughs> you seem to have gained a buffer line to Twitch, really? <laughs> Thanks, Aranthian. Uh, you right. Yeah, I, I used it before and went through fine. Who knows? I don't know, Nick. I'm sure, I'm sure it'll work itself out, mate. Uh, that, that or you'll be arrested, but don't worry. Hello, Elegon. <laughs> you did not get yelled at for doing it yesterday, Elegon. I'd like, that's really rude of you. I, I was actually extremely calm about that whole affair. At no point did I shout or raise my voice. You fucking dick! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dearie me. That was a good one, Elegon. If it had been anywhere else, I'd have fucking banned their ass, mate. Right, let's go and uh, get that deer if we can. That was weird. That was weird. It's like the hitboxes. I, I used to be a crack shot with these uh, deer. I don't know whether the hitboxes have changed or the arrow drop I'm still not used to. Because they have, they have the, the arrow drop has changed quite a lot, hasn't it? Ah, oh, cheers, Aranthian. That's really nice of you, mate. Cheers, dude. You're right, Arik, and how you doing, mate? <laughs> too, many, too many chompers, right? Let's, uh... Did we actually count out on this side? We did, didn't we? Uh, let's take it all the way back, and then we'll go and venture forth. I still don't watch this new Star Trek yet. We were going to watch it last weekend. We never got a chance to do it. What, this one over here, dude? Is this the one you're talking about, Stumpy? This one? I need to take it out one, do I? You, you, you do know that everyone in chat is, is now, like, going to laugh at you if you've got that wrong. If you're right, I will give you uh, 200 grum bombs, mate. <clears throat> 200 seems to be the number of the day, so... Better be right, mate. You better be right. There's a lot riding on this. <laughs> Mainly your fucking channel account, right? Cross. Just waiting for what are you waiting for the lights to go out, are you for? <clears throat> you can't do that, Fortune. That's that's elegons and elegons alone, you cheeky little monkey. <laughs> So this should be 41 blocks square. 
Yes, no, bring it closer. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. Oh, fuck. Really? All right, hang on. One set me old banana. <clears throat> Let me just get the corner put in for this one. There we are. I'll go and take them all out in a sec. Wait, get off my lead. Quite impressed we are. I was about right on the uh, the cobblestone blocks there. So that's how I've got it. Obviously, I might as well just do it and then. So we, I want to take it in one, do I? Oh, wait, in fact, I want to take it in two now, do I? Is that what you're saying? Right, so this should be 41 blocks. Let's all count with Grum, right? Need a little bit of help here. Well, I, well, I, I used the manky toe once we hit 30, you see. So uh, we give him a little, a little tickle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that right? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Oh my god. Fucking really? 10, 21. 22, 23, 24, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 30, right? 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. So you are absolutely right, mate. Someone, someone get that, man. 200 grum bombs. Or, or I'll do it if you're slurping champagne or <laughs> living in a bunker. <laughs> What's that? Put some put toothpaste up his nose. What the fuck? What's tooth? What, 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 what? what sort of kinky sex game is this, Mr. Elegon? <clears throat> You're right, Advina. How you doing? Uh, honestly, for the first time ever, I watched the news about a hurricane that close. Yeah, same here, mate. I was, I was. Uh, the Twitter feeds, as you've just said, were actually really good last night. I sort of got them uh, alerts on my phone. It's pretty cool. There were a lot of fucking alerts. <laughs> I know. I know. The old vanilla ice was refusing to leave. He's like, "Oh, I'm gonna fucking man it out, mate." <laughs> it's probably in like you know, it's just some like uh, nuclear bunker, seven hundred feet underneath the ground. Oh, fucking man it out, me, mate. Fucking badass vanilla ice. So hopefully this is 41 as well. One, two, three, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one. Oh, yes. He's done it. Morning glory. Perfect. A ding-dang-do, mate. A fucking ding-dang-do. Right. Cobblestone frames. How many can I make? 173. Let's do that shit, bro. Let's do that shit. Time to hammer. Hammer time. Can't touch this. Do -do -do -do. He should get 69 points. I think he should have 200. I, I said 200. We will, we will honour the 200. Nice one, Stumper. You knew what I was doing. I have absolutely no idea how the fuck you followed what I was doing there, mate. I'm very, very impressed. Uh, we may bring you on board to replace Elagon as our lead architect. Because Elagon uh, was supposed to build me a giant sphinx, but he didn't. So, he let me down a bit there. <laughs> Anyone watch the TV show Designated Survivor? No. Is it like one of those reality shows? It sounds like a reality show. Does it have tits in it? <laughs> I love you, Ella God. There you go. I said it, mate. <laughs> Vanilla Ice is in Vera. I have no, no doubt. I, in fact, I bet he's not actually even there, to be quite honest. He's, he's probably in fucking London. <laughs> What type of serious shows do I like, dude? You're right, Nero's Ash. How you doing, mate? I like, uh... 
let me run through it. My, my favourite of all time were things like Breaking Bad. I love House of Cards. is probably my biggest super duper one. Um, I liked... Uh, uh, more recently, uh, Stranger Things was fantastic. Uh, I've just watched American Odyssey, which was great. Um, I like Sense8, which was recently out. I started digging around with Westworld, you know, yesterday. I fucking know the film. As soon as I saw it on IMDb with uh, Yul Brenner, you know, as the robot dude, I thought, shit, I remember this. I didn't realise Anthony Hopkins and everyone were in the um, in the TV show that's just been released, so I'm definitely going to check that out. I must have watched Westworld with my dad fucking years ago, you know. It's like a theme park, isn't it, if I remember correctly? And all the robots go fucking crazy. All, all like the, It's like a Western theme park, and the robots all go a little bit... It is some sort of computer virus or something like that. And, uh... Yul Brenner's kind of like the, the, the lead badass cowboy. And he's, he's like mullering everyone. It's pretty cool. Oh, you new TV? Oh, shit. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. I've got loads of stuff I was going to... I did a little bit of reading around last night. Which one did you go for, dude? Yeah, little cheeky monkey. I've been doing some research for you on that, mate. Elegon, it's Keith for Sutherland from 24. Everyone in government is killed and fees. Oh, that's not the one with the... Li What's the one that Keith for Sutherland's done recently? This is a show that's got the kid who's like um, some sort of savant. Uh, can't, can't, I can't really say much more than that. Am I getting confused with that one? I was president over... I might have a look into that, uh, Fortune. That's on Netflix, right? There's two that are Kiefer Sutherland's in on Netflix, I noticed recently. Yeah, I, I love 24. I, I, but to be honest, it, it was getting a bit... I, I was getting a bit tired of Jack by the end of it, mate. Was it season nine or whatever the fuck it was? It, it, it really was like, you know, it was, oh, God, you, you know, yeah. there's only so many hours you can watch old Jack doing the same thing over and over and getting beaten up. And, oh, Jesus, mate. It's quite cool, actually. Um, you know, I was talking about digging out my Xbox uh, games so I could get Red Dead Redemption. Um, one of the boxes sort of... It got games and a load of old DVDs in it. And I found, uh, I think, the first six seasons... It's six or seven seasons of 24. Uh, and my Matrix, like, special edition box set with all three films and the making of and all that kind of jazz. And also the Lord of the Rings one. So that they'll all be watched again over the next few months. It's on regular TV. I don't, there's another one is is in then um, Fortune, and it's something to do with a young child who can't. It's not like he's got special powers or I, I literally, it, you know, like Netflix gives you like two lines to summarise a whole show. Uh, I'm not sure whether he's the father or or I don't know. He's somehow I don't know. It's about him and this kid who's some sort of I don't know mathematical savant can predict disasters or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, go on, four. Four, run! Keep us updated best you can, mate. Honestly, thoughts are with you. Fuck us. Get yourself safe. Get that fucking obnobs out. That's a bear. What, here? Dude, what, really? Get the hobnobs out. The sex toys. Hello. Try and catch up with you later. Hello, happy orphan. How you doing, mate? All right, Toasty. How you doing, dude? Toasty! You know if power goes out, Fortune can't respond. Elegon has mobile masks usually flicker out too. I, wa I was watching some of the footage. Um, was it the honeymoon couple or something? Uh... And there was like, um, you can actually see the power cables in the distance, just like sparks just flying off them. It's like, Jesus, that is some scary ass shit that is. You know, all that electrical uh, power mixed with shitloads of water is not, it's not good, is it? You didn't think that through really, did you, Elegon? <laughs> it's that magic, there's no magical... Uh, Mobile waves, Elegon.
Oh, Narcos is fantastic, mate. Uh, I mean, I've watched loads on Netflix over the last couple of years since we got it. Absolutely brilliant uh, package, to be honest, here in the UK for Netflix. Really enjoy it. Yeah, Nar Narcos was amazing. Two series, absolutely brilliant. And from what I can ascertain, you know, yes, a fair bit of artistic license, liberty sort of in there, but... Pretty, pretty close to what kicked off, you know what I mean? In, in terms of, I, I suppose, what what they can reveal between what you know about what was going on on, so, shall we say, the uh, the governments and the police, you know, the FBI side or CIA side. I'm sure there were a lot of naughty things that they did that that weren't included there. But wow, oh, I was always, I mean, I won't say too much, but at the end of the day, I mean, most people that are going to be watching Narcos know how that that era ended, but. Uh, when they showed the, the real life photograph, you said the actual photograph that was taken at the end and then compared it to the scene uh, that we were actually watching on Netflix, that kind of struck home to just how well they'd done everything. I mean, they do that quite a few times throughout the show. Uh. <clears throat> that's it. Uh, yeah, that's it, Reborn. Yeah, that's it. literally what I'm sorry, mate. I just seen you mention the photos. Really cleverly done, in my opinion. Really well done. Super, super excited when that second season popped, mate. I, in fact, it's one of the few shows that I went back and watched the first season again before I watched the second season. Just because I'd enjoyed it that much and I really wanted to get, you know, get that timeline fresh in my mind about what was going on. Ooh, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> She'll be all right, Elegon. She'll be all right, mate. She's that extra little bit in land now. She's got Grimace with her. She's got a pink gun as well. Like a real gun, Elegon. Proper, legit pink gun. I don't think that's much use in a hurricane, but I suppose I suppose the biggest fear is, uh, and I know it'd be something I'd be acutely aware of, is, is not only if you've got the, the, you know, the terrifying experience of a hurricane descending and you know trying to keep your family safe and all the rest of it, but... You've also got that, that ever-present fear of not only just coming back to, you know, potentially an absolutely ravished and destroyed property, but also, from what I understand, that the chance of looting and all that, you know, is, is ever-present as well. You know, you, you are going to have people that take advantage of that, you know, state of affairs, which, you fucking, you know, on top of everything else, you've got some asshole fucking robbing your house as well. Scary stuff, man. Shit, we're out of cobblestone already. You got the LG65. Uh, ah, yeah, you'll be. That's the OLED, isn't it? The OLED screen, full HDR, full 4K, 10 bit. Yeah, yeah, you'll be fine, Elegant. You'll be fine. Unfortunately, it is an LG, which obviously is vastly inferior. But hey ho, <laughs> you couldn't wait, could you? You wouldn't fucking wait. Oh God, look, we've got bloody uh, flesh on us, fleshy McFlesh. Don't want any of that on us. No, 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 sir. Uh, right, well, that puts me in a bit of a pickle now because it's... Should we go out tomorrow? Should we just head out tomorrow morning? Um, and go and find ourselves somewhere to stay. I, I think we'll, we'll stay in the posh house. So morning of day seven, we'll head out. Is that auto? What can a what what a gun can do is it, it can shoot the motherfucker that's trying to uh, rob your place while the hurricane's hitting you. I think that that's I think that's why everyone's taking their guns with them. Water, food, gun. <laughs> Scary fucking shit, man. I, I to be honest, I've I, you know especially since we've had the, the anime um, channel up in Discord, I, I still can't really get into anime. Uh, it's something that it, it niggles me uh, every time I, I try and find a show to watch. Uh, it, it's like it starts off with high hopes and then I, I just, I don't know, I, I'd rather go and watch something else. And it, it, I don't know, it, it's something that I should like. I, I like that. I don't know. I, I like animated series I always have done. Uh, but I just can't seem to find an anime show that actually grips me. I was watching, uh, what's it called, The Titan? What, what's it called, Attack on Titan? I was absolutely loving that. You know, in stream, I was like, oh, this is absolutely brilliant. And you know what? 
I think I got through about 10-ish episodes and then I just I just couldn't be asked to go back and watch anymore. It's, it's, it, like I said, it's one of those strange things. To, uh, if you know, if I was to describe what anime was and what little I know about it, for all intents and purposes, it should be something that I, I would be really into. But I just I don't know, just don't seem to be able to make the connection with anything. What's that? Sword Art Online. Go watch it. It's about a virtual reality MMO. All right, okay. One of the things I'm going to watch is. Um, well, what's it called? It's the Final Fantasy something Blade. Oh, I can't remember. Uh, oh, I'm trying to think what it's called. Quite fancy watching that. I mean, I know that's, that's you know it's more CGI, isn't it, than an anime? But um, I think what it what it's called. Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan sucked, in your opinion, really. See, it came very highly recommended to me the anime series. I mean, I know, I know the film's supposed to be fucking terrible, but. Oh, it's actually on Netflix as well, Advina. All right, let me yeah, let me make a note of that. Sword Art Online. All right, mate. Yeah, I'll have a peek later. Watch One Punch Man. I've watched it fifteen times so far. <laughs> Kingslave. Yes, Kingslave Knights. Yeah, you're right. It's something like that, mate. I, I, apparently it released digitally and someone gave me a code for it. I think I can download it through the Sony store or something like that. And it'll, or something anyway, so... I quite fancy sitting down over the weekend and watching that. I, I was always amazed at the quality of some of those CGI movies that I've done around Final Fantasy, so I'm no doubt this one will be spectacular. Seeing as it's like a tie-in with the, the, the actual game, isn't it? A new Walking Dead in two weeks. You know, I'm about as excited as watching a lump of shit come out of my dog's arse. And he's a puppy, and trust me, him pooing is quite quite, an, quite an emotional experience, but uh, I meant it in a negative way. <laughs> I fucking lost interest in The Walking Dead, mate. I will watch it. I will definitely watch it. And I will sit there going, oh my god, this is the most boring shit I've ever seen in my life. Having to watch all their miserable fucking faces another fucking how many shows are they going to do or is it going to be like a season that's six shows again you know because they're, they're bleeding it and milking it for everything they possibly can show should have ended fucking two seasons ago at least Kingsglaive is that what it's called it's the most depressing boring slow paced zero interest emotionally stunted dialogue ever <laughs> he's on fucking one today isn't he <clears throat> I think everyone did Nero. I think if, if I think if anyone was absolutely honest with themselves, they watch it now just because you you know you, you kind of invested. You know what happens to the characters. You know where it all it all went tits up for me, mate. Uh, and that's when I realised they are just fucking scamming us now. What's the uh, the young Asian guy's name? Um, the one with the girlfriend who's pregnant, and he was standing on the uh, like the, the bins. And the other one shot himself. What's his fucking name? It's right on the tip of my tongue. Uh, and basically he falls off into like hundreds of zombies. And I, I, I shouldn't say anything. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I might, might I, could, I could easily spoil something, couldn't I? What a load of didgery bullshit. If that had happened to anybody else, then that would have been fucking game over, wouldn't it? I mean, what a fucking scam, mate. Absolutely shocking. That show is full of shit, mate. And he needs to shave that fucking skanky-ass beard off as well. He, he literally makes me feel like I've got lice every time I watch the show. Dirty, scrubby asshole. Everybody else manages to have a fucking shave. Why can't he? Titted. <laughs> oh, my Lord. What's got into him today, eh? What's got into him today? Let's craft all of that. Fuck it. Take it for everything we can. Glenn, that's it. Oh, Glenn, yeah. Cracking character. Love him to pieces, you know. But in fact, possibly one of my, one of my favourite characters. But what happened with him? Bullshittery at work, or what? Blatant. Fucking, we've run out of content. We need to do something a little bit scary to make think, people think, Oh, no! <laughs> 
fucking what a sham. <laughs> oh dear. What's that, VDK? How you doing, mate? You're all right. Uh, any advice on spending early game skill points? No, not really, mate. I am current. I've only spent a couple. Uh, I'm putting points in run, forest, run. In fact, actually, can we put. Ah, we can put another point in health. Pop that in there now. I'm going for run, forest, run. Health nut and sexual Tyrannosaurus at the minute. Uh, minus 69er. I can only put one point in until... Oh, we're very close to being able to put another point in that. We'll probably take, take three points in minus 69er, though. From what I understand, that is the point of uh, diminishing returns. Okay, uh, shit. What are we doing, guys? What are we doing? I need stone now, right? Let's go and bash some stone. Where should we go? Like a nice can of sham, do you? I fucking don't. What's that stuff we used to have in the UK? Oh, what's it called? Uh, co comes in a can. Corned beef. Oh, what is that all about? Corned beef in a can. Oh, you fucker. It, it like literally sort of slithers its way out like it's like, like it's some sort of like fucking living entity with that nasty ass fat shit that sort of like covers it. Oh my god, that stuff is putrid. I think my, my mom used to try and make me eat that on sandwiches. It's like, fucking really, mom? I'd rather eat fucking grass. And there's probably more nutritional content in that if I include a buttercup in it. Nasty stuff, man. Corned beef. Oh, you fucker. Probably never been within like 3,000 miles of a cow or a bull, that stuff. In fact, what is it even made out of? Because I'm fucked if I believe there's any beef in it. Nasty, skanky stuff, mate. I reckon if you left the, like, a bit of corned beef, you know, like, just le left it out of the can, I reckon it'd fucking sort of, like, walk around your house if you left it for a couple of weeks. Probably become part of the family. Like, like, the, the, <laughs> that's our pet. We call him Beefy. Slithering around the kitchen. <laughs> you like Beefy? <laughs> Do we go for a walk, Beefy? It's <laughs> 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 fucking dog. I, I think dog would look better, mate, to be honest. Can dog would look better than fucking corned beef. Fucking hell. Corned beef and potatoes in a frying pan. I suppose you know, if you could mask it like with a load of onions and garlic or something, you, you might get me there. Also known as corn. What are they? a question for you. What are those fucking things the Yanks eat that are on a stick? Is it like? Is it called a corn dog? What the fuck is a corn dog? Serious question. I thought it was like um, like a Frankfurt sausage with some sort of like crispy batter on it, but I have a horrible feeling I'm grossly mistaken. What is an actual corn dog? $23,000 missing from the Dual Universe Kickstarter. Oh, how long they got left, Elegon? I mean, are they on target or... I hope they make it. You recommend Tyrannosaurus Rex as you need stamina? Yeah, yeah, they're definitely. I mean, anything that's going to sort your stamina out, like I was saying earlier. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, we used to eat some fucking. We, we were not particularly well off, I tell you, when we uh, when I grew up. I mean, we weren't. We weren't like oh, don't, oh, don't, don't get me wrong, but God, I, I remember food was. Uh, I think that's why I eat so many takeaways now. It's trying to make up for lost time. <laughs> I hope my mum's not watching this. I really do. Mum, forgive me, forgive me. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, oh god, it used to have this like, uh, well they used to call it sausage casserole, oh fucking Jesus Christ, I have no idea what the fuck it was, but it wasn't sausage mate. Um, and, and you know what, it was so bad, it was so bad, I, I, I am really sorry, it, it wasn't my mum's cooking, I, I don't think uh, it, even like a royal chef could have made this shit taste good, but it got so bad right, that uh, I used to take a little, um, you know like the little zip ziplock freezer bags you used to get, well, well you do get right, well back in the day you didn't have ziplock things, 
It was just a plastic bag. They used to have like this little piece of wire uh, with like, a little paper wrap around it that you'd seal it up with. Well, I used to take these like little plastic bags uh, and I'd, I'd preemptively strike the kitchen on a Sunday when my mum and dad would be watching some TV in the living room. And I'd get a little stash of these bags because if we had the fucking sausage casserole from hell, right, they'd basically make me eat it. I had to stay at the kitchen table until I'd eaten it. So obviously I would eat it incredibly slowly and sort of like pick away at it slowly, very slowly. And then in the end, they'd give up and they'd go into the living room after they'd done the washing up for the rest of the family. And then what I'd do is I'd actually scoop up what was left of the sausage casserole from hell and put it in the plastic bag, put it in my pocket. Then I'd say I'm finished. They'd come out and you smack my plate. And then what I'd do is I'd go and flush the contents down the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> That's how bad this stuff was, mate, honestly. Oh, God, I couldn't stand it. It was fucking vomit-inducing stuff, mate. It was nasty. Absolutely nasty. The thing was, my brothers fucking loved it, little bastards. <laughs> Can we have sausage casserole, mate? I'm like, no! No, no, no. Don't do the casserole. Please don't do the fucking casserole. <laughs> It's, oh, hang on, so what was it? Uh, Grum, are you hormonal? What? <laughs> Corn dog is just bread over a hot dog. So, so it is what I said then. It's basically like a Frankfurt a sort of sausage with a bit of a... It's a hot dog wrapped in bread with a stick in it. Is that... <laughs> I'm quite... I'm quite... Quite heartbreaking. I thought you were going to reveal it was uh, something much more... Uh, much more <laughs> exciting, to be honest. Uh, wow. Gosh. Well, there you have it. Now I know. I suppose I quite like that. Hello. Maybe I should try one. You're at Madelo. Ha! How you doing, mate? Let me repair the iron shovel. Oh, and ah, oh, oh, shit. Hang on. More importantly, let's repair the iron pickaxe. Uh, in fact, I tell you what. Should we try ourselves to a new pickaxe while we actually repair that pickaxe? That sounds rather good, doesn't it? Best of both worlds. How about olive tongue loaf? Olive tongue loaf? What the fuck's that, dude? It's not bread, it's cornmeal. What's the difference? Is, is there really any difference when it comes to actually eating it? Corn dog is a sausage cake and a thick layer of cornmeal batter. Oh, so it is more like a batter. Ah, right, that makes more sense then, Koyoshkin. How you doing, mate? Gyokshin. Blood sausage. <laughs> <coughs> what are you having, Nero? See, I'm rather partial to the uh, the double sausage and egg McMuffin uh, with a hash brown and the orange juice and a cup of coffee in the morning, mate. I very rarely get to have it these days, but uh, I do like that. What's that? Your sister used to sit at the table for hours like a hamster when she had something she didn't like. I just snuck things to the dogs. Yeah, yeah, I, I was like your sister, mate. I, oh, it was awful. It was awful, mate. I hated it. They used to lock the door, you see, so I couldn't get out to the bin, Simpsy. You know, there was I, I had to somehow eat it. There was, I'll tell you what, Simpsy. Imagine, right, as a young lad, uh, put it, put in a, a basically a, a plastic bag of still warm sausage casserole from hell in your pocket. It's actually quite a nice feeling, as you can probably imagine. <laughs> oh, it's so warm and squishy down there. <laughs> It wasn't all bad, Simpsy. Oh, I try and find the bright side. <laughs> I just slip it in my pocket. <laughs> so it's almost like you wanted everyone to eat it quicker so that it'd still be warmer, Simpsy. <laughs> Can you hurry up and do the... Come on, help mum and dad do the washing up, bros. <laughs> It's cornmeal batter. It's like eating cornbread with a hot dog, except that the cornbread is softer and not as grainy. It does sound, it does sound quite nice, I suppose. But I, you think, see, the thing is, I really like hot dogs. I'm a big hot dog fan. I like my frankfurter sausages uh, in a nice roll. Bit, bit of ketchup, bit of mustard, and some fried onion. Gorgeous, mate. Absolutely gorgeous. You're right, Fens. Thank you for the follow. What's that, Beast? That's your Kickstarter too. What's that, dude? What, what? Well, hang on. Should we actually start making some cobblestone? Dang, it's taking some time to do this, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Oof. 
Nice to see you. Yeah, to see your sausage casserole. I think they could. I think it. I, 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 for some reason, I'm starting to think of luncheon meat. Is it luncheon meat that they would have been buying? It was this horrible, fucking pale, slimy, sausage esque lump of something. I used to go in a casserole with carrots and potatoes and anything else that you could scavenge from the kitchen. We're running out of rocks, guys. We're running out of bloody rocks. You right, Deepak Star? How you doing, mate? How's things with you? Is everyone all excited for the weekend? I am. Might have, uh, like I said, I'm quite tempted to have little drinky poos tomorrow. We've got uh, people I haven't seen from the family for weeks. Well, I'm talking about weeks, fucking months, some of them. So that'll be nice. Cody's uh, getting, he's, um, he's being groomed today. He, I think he was supposed to go on Saturday or Sunday. And the lady that grooms him, she, she's like um, a business she runs from home. Um, apparently her, her dog wanted some company. So we actually dropped Cody off at her house at early o'clock this morning. And he's spending the whole day there to keep her, her puppy um, company. And also, this was really cool as well. The girlfriend had um, a lady that she met in the street a few weeks ago who also has a puppy. And she came round yesterday to introduce themselves to each other like a little bit a little bit more uh, cosy than just out and about. And they were absolutely running around the garden for about two hours last night, just non-stop. Cody was absolutely fucking shattered by the end of it. It's really cool. It's quite nice. It's amazing how... Uh, Talkative people are, you know, if you, if you share that kind of interest as a, as a pet or a puppy. Cody's got a fucking amazing social life, to be honest. He's got all sorts of little little doggy friends. We should set him up a Twitter account, shouldn't we? <laughs> it's going to be horrible when he comes home today because uh, he's, he's, fur, he's quite, quite a fluffy little fuffball at the moment. There ain't a lot to him, so his feet look absolutely massive because the fur, he's got pure white fur. And it'll, well, on his feet. And it uh, it makes him look gigantic. So he looks a little bit like, you know, the Dulux dogs. He looks like a little miniature Dulux dog at the moment. When he comes home, he'll probably look like a, a little skinny rat again. But luncheon meat is spam. I, I think that's, uh, maybe it's not that then. I don't know, mate. I'm not sure. What's that, Madala? It's, it's, a, it's a sort of public server. You need to jump on our Discord channel to request access, mate. If you do exclamation mark in chat, you'll exclamation mark Discord in chat, you'll get a link to our Discord channel. And from there, if you go to the server access forum, you can uh, find out what you need to do in there. Yeah, he, the, the, the dog he was playing with yesterday was called Charlie. So we've got Charlie and Cody. They were, they were like bouncing off each other. It was so funny. Money, honey, we got your teas. It's the one and only, the glorious and magnificent Tony Boy Blue. How are you doing, mate? How's the little fella doing? What's happening now? What with, Tone? <clears throat> Anyone know if and when this version will be released on console? Could be months, cheesy. Could be months, mate. I'll be honest, I've got it on the PlayStation version, uh, PlayStation 4, mate, and I, I I, can't see us getting this for a long, 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 long time, dude. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm hoping I'm wrong, mate. I'm not, you know, I'm not here to sort of try and uh, say we shouldn't get it on consoles. I, I just can't see it happening, mate. I really can't. Not for ages. I could, I, you know, let, let's hope tonight I'm proven wrong and they say it's coming to us on Saturday morning, but... Spam is a mix of what luncheon meat is plus oil. Oh, it's all sounding a bit nasty, isn't it? All processed gunk. You right, Red Dragon Craft? How you doing, mate? Good morning to you. Top of the morning to you, mate. Six months plus someone's trying to make my inner nerd weep. Yeah, sorry, dude. I know it's not what you want to hear, but... Got to be realistic. I just can't see it happening, mate. You know, you know a lot about this, don't you, Kyoshkin? <laughs> you work in a sham factory. Anyone have pressed chicken? A slice of chicken they smashed the hell out. I, I've had a uh, pressed chicken. 
or processed chicken or whatever the fuck they call it. I actually quite like it. It's, uh, I have no idea what I'm eating, but uh, if I have it with some nice bread, um, then, and, and turkey as well. I quite like turkey. But I know what you mean about the pressed stuff. Normally comes in perfectly round sort of slabs, yeah? Very, very watery. And, and probably not a lot of chicken in it. Or at least not the chicken bits that you want. Let's put it that way. But I have eaten it and, and yeah, you know. I'll eat it, mate. I'll eat pretty much fucking anything that's got a bit of protein in it. <laughs> you be quiet, Simpsy. You be fucking quiet. Why is it no good on PlayStation 4? Uh, well, I didn't say it was no good. It's, uh, the frame rates are horrendous, mate. I've actually... I just hear a dog. I just heard a dog. I'm the fuck out of here, mate. <clears throat> I definitely heard a dog. Did you hear a dog? Some, some, something's out there. What's that coming over the hill? It is a monster. Uh, what was I on about? Oh, PlayStation 4. <coughs> um, yeah, it's, um, it, it's just, it's just, uh, they did a really good job on the control scheme for a start. So that was great. Um, in terms of what we got, you know, th there was nothing cut out. You know, it was a nice version of Alpha 14. So, you know, it's not like we had content cut, so fantastic. But we had horrendous issues with uh, playing together. Uh, you, you know, server crashes, people disconnecting, save games, having strange things happen to them. Although we were lucky, we never actually lost a save game. I know that was quite rampant an issue on the Xbox One, for example. Um, but the frame rate did. It just boiled down to the frame rate. It, during hordes, it just became unplayable. They've actually worked on it, and it's a lot better than it was. So, And, and to be honest, I've not played it for a few weeks now. So, you know, take, take it with a bit of a pinch of salt. Um, you know, it might be playing a damn sight better than it did three, four weeks ago. But it's one of those games where it, even on the PC, um, you know, no matter how good your rig is, uh, you, you get frame drops during hordes. You do. It's just a simple back to the game. It's how the game works. It can't really handle it very well. Um, so there's no surprise it was happening happening like that on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. But so early, you know, just after release, probably about three, four weeks after release, when I finally picked it up and started playing with people, um... We just couldn't do anything during even like the tier two. Well, maybe not a tier two. That might be pushing pushing my uh, limits there a little bit. Tier three, um, I, I would say the limits of the PlayStation Four had been reached. Um, uh, massive frame drops. So, for example, we had a wall very similar to this, and we didn't dare walk on it because we'd we'd go to walk that away and then adjust to move. But you'd end up just falling off it because of the lag that was introduced. Then it was frame lag, not latency. <coughs> or network lag, sorry. Batman's good. <laughs> Fat man. He's, he's chilling before his mum takes him swimming as I have to go to work. Thought you was going live in that hotel. No, I've had to live. I, I, I decided to death the hotel, Tony. I, I've, I've already done. I think this is the fifth restart. And four of those restarts were all the hotel. So I thought, fuck it, mate. I'm glad he's all right, Tony. Little Connor. Good news, good news. I take it the girlfriend's all right as well, mate. Are you married now, Tony? I was thinking about this the other day. Are you actually married now? You are, aren't you? You all right, big Zunim? Yeah, well, it would be cheesy, but like I said, the problem you got there is it's just more money, isn't it? And I, I, to be honest, I don't think sales are... Well, I think sales just dropped off a cliff, mate. Um, it went straight to number one on PlayStation 4 for digital downloads uh, as soon as it released. And then I, I would be surprised if they even sell fucking a copy a week at the moment. Ah, it's cool, Coke. It's, it's nice to know. It's nice to know that uh, you've got an interest in things, mate. <laughs> It's amazing what I've learned over the years just from watching YouTube. I used to watch a lot of... It just comes down to time now. Um, Vsauce. Don't know if you've ever watched any of that. It's uh, They have some fascinating uh, YouTube. And they're always kind of like nice, bite-sized, informative videos as well. You know, they're not like two-hour-long probes into the human psyche or anything. You know, so sometimes they'll just, you know, talk about the brain or about how the tongue works and things like that. Vsauce. Very good. Highly recommended. 
Well, the fog effect is because of the rain, dude. It's because it's that time of night, so it's getting dark anyway. Plus, we've got the rain. So it's just kind of like that, that overcast. Uh, I mean, I agree. It, it's just a little bit too much on the... We've drained the colour out of the scene, isn't it? The vibrance is completely Your gone. Your required. You've been a most magnanimous host. And you've waited too long for this moment. Well, thank you very much for the host. Uh, who was that? It's a Paul. Welcome back. It's a Paul. Nice to see you again, dude. How you doing? You bought this game at least one and a half years ago. The game is already better, and I'm glad I bought it vanilla. What do you mean by bought it vanilla? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Everyone buys it vanilla. I'm, I'm con confuddled. Yeah, I bought it back when it... Not not long after it released, I don't think, uh, here on Steam. So I, I've been playing it on and off for, what, two and a half, three years now, I think. Two and a half years. It's certainly got to be getting on three, hasn't it? Well, to be honest, Dark Savior, uh, I've heard people say that they've had these perfect um, worlds and, and gaming experiences on the Xbox One. I think a lot of that boils down to those people maybe haven't experienced the PC version, for example. So you've got nothing to compare it to. I obviously am talking about comparing the PlayStation 4 version to the PC version and the frame drops are horrendous. Now, I have seen Xbox One footage um, on YouTube and there are fr <coughs> excuse me, frame drops <coughs> quite evidently down into the low sort of tens. Now, to some people that play on console, especially people that have recently come from PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, for example, those kind of frame rates are part, part, of, part of gaming on console, mate. So... For example, my brothers, they were not overly um, jaded by, by the drops in frame rate. They're kind of used to that. Nothing runs at a perfect 30 or perfect 60 in this day and age on console. Uh, all, although, you know, I don't want to talk all games with the same brush. Some of them run at fantastic frame rates. But so, so some smaller indie dev like this, you know, you, we were expecting fluctuations. But I can't honestly say, hand on heart, you know, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to pretend the PlayStation 4 works. And to be honest, from the people that we've had in chat here, they've all said the same thing on Xbox One. It's no different. The PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions play exactly the same. It's just what you're used to, what you're willing to accept as a, as a you know, a viable frame rate. You, you know, there is no way people are playing on the Xbox One at a locked 30 frames per second during hordes. They're not. Um, but they can claim they are. I can assure you they are not. Uh, but I am talking four weeks ago. So, you know, maybe, maybe now, today, with a couple more patches, I legitimately don't know how many patches they've dropped in the last three to four weeks, maybe the frame rate is locked at 30. I personally would love to see that. Godspeed to them if they've pulled it off. Going back three, four weeks, fucking nightmare. Absolute nightmare. There is no way you were getting through a tier seven horde. Not in a million fucking years, mate. It was a complete slideshow. B-Source Michael. <laughs> the hotel's broken, Beast, to be honest. I, th I think the hotel might, might be a little bit overpowered, mate. Uh, I, I think if you just shored up the basement with, like, concrete and stuff, which wouldn't actually take that much doing, knocking enough of those staircases out, I don't think the Zs would ever get in there, mate. I really don't. It's part of the reason I've decided not to, not to use it. Apart from the fact it was getting a bit boring. It's Sky, the one and only. How's things, Sky? What are you up to? What's the plans for today, mate? You got you got uni, or you got a day free? Not that you ever have a day free, but you know what I mean. Thirty down to ten don't seem bad, but six down to ten. 30 down to 10 is bad, Jan, because it, it, it's just unplayable, dude. Imagine trying to get a, hodge, a headshot with, with zombie. I mean, it's hard enough at 60 frames per second or 130 frames per second or 144 frames per second to get a fucking headshot during a horde. Imagine what it's like at 10, mate, with, you know, because the, they all jazz about and freak out. Freaking nightmare, bro. It's going to very quickly southwest. I'm almost tempted to make some nails, actually. What's that? Sham Shamalam? Nice name, dude. Sham Shamalam. It's got a ring to it, innit? Sham Shamalam. Ding ding a ding 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 Sham Shamalam. I like it. I like Alpha 15, dude. Yeah, I, you know, I'm missing my mods, mate. I've, I've always been honest. 
You know, I'm not going to pretend it's fantastic. It does the job. Um, there's a few things that I'm not overly keen on. If it, you know, if I was to be brutally honest about it, I got no clay. That's strange. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's just plant a couple of iron cones because these take fucking ages now, don't they? Uh, anything else that I can drop off? Lead can go in. Got two eggs. Oh, we can make some bacon and eggs tonight. Nice. Let's go. <clears throat> yeah, it's um. Hmm. I mean, I mean, I, I, I like the game, dude. So. It's like I always say, if you think about the changes that have happened in the game over the years, uh, quite a lot of us have said they're horrible changes. Remember the old crafting menu where it was like Minecraft? You had to put in the sticks of wood and the and the iron bars in, in the shape of the pickaxe and all the rest of it, you know? When that went, I was like, what the fuck? They're ruining the game! But you get used to the changes. That's the beauty of this game. It's, it's never the same game from, from beta to beta. Everything changes. Oh my god, look at the damage down here. I think that's what keeps you interested, isn't it? <clears throat> Wouldn't would surprise me if that's part of their uh, long-term plan to keep, you know, keep new uh, funding revenues going. Got no lectures today. That reminds me, seriously, am I still together with Sky? What the fuck? <laughs> They've done things to solve the frame drops on hordes. Yeah, they did. I mean, I, that's what I'm saying to Anthony. Please, please, please understand that I can only speak and will only ever speak about my personal experience. So, like I said, three to four weeks back, a terrible problems. Still really good fun. Don't, don't get me wrong either. You know, I'm not sitting here saying that we were sitting there like crying. Oh, it's terrible. We had fun. We had laughs. The game is still fun, even at low frame rates. But it's annoying knowing it was playing so badly. Uh, if, they, if they fix that stuff, then great. The wall is coming in leaps and bounds, Grim, far faster than I thought in an hour, Doc. What's that, dude? The walls, yeah, we've done right on the wall, didn't we? The sight, distance, and environment is much better. Yes, I mean, from an aesthetic point of view, I'm still, the verdict's still out on me. Uh, and that's, just so you know, it's part of the reason I've decided to live in a valley. Uh, I hated the fact that the, the, the enhanced, I'm just going to have a drink, so I'm just going to chill out for a sec. The enhanced draw distance came with issues for me. Uh, because we can see so far, it was weird. The popping was strange. That distance texture was horrific. Uh, I kind of almost preferred the way we had that constant fog of war. So you, kept, you kind of never knew what was 30 meters in front of you. I kind of missed that when I first started playing. And I still don't like being able to see for miles and miles and miles and see the outline of the road. So I know there's a town there, but I can't actually see the buildings from a distance. I know that's an inherent issue with the hardware, for example. That, you know, they've, they, they, you know they've, they've got so much memory capacity, haven't they, that, that they can give us. Um, especially using Unity, which is known for streaming issues in terms of texture assets, etc. So, uh, it, it, it's part of the reason I'm living, living in a valley, because it negates that issue. I can still see fucking miles, but I'm not having to look at distant mountains that just look like this horrible, low-resolution texture where you can actually see the different blocks. Uh, so, I like...